Hey, it's time for another big gaming news roundup video while we wait for some of the massive titles that are dropping later this month. I want to thank you for your support on the Jedi Survivor hands-on video. It really promises to be better in every way for his Fallen Order. But let's look now at something that's a bit further away for the first news item, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Because French YouTuber Jonathan shared this image very sneaky on his Instagram story. Thanks to Nima for reaching out about this. And I think you pronounce it like Lavunu, who grab the screenshots not a lot to see here but it shows investigation which i think is just a fancy name for the sort of mission lock inventory where we all see basim with his cool hidden one rope we will have multiple outfits to find by the way that we can then equip probably here and also two weapon slots for our swords and dagger and we know there's a big focus on the tools like a smoke bomb throwing knife blow darts mine noisemaker these will be upgradable as well and we will likely do that in the tools menu so not sure how jonathan got this image especially as the proper gameplay reveal seems to be planned for the ubisoft fort event on june 12th of course share your take in the comments what do you think of this menu and i will of course keep you posted here when we learn more about the game now i don't expect to hear anything from far cry at that ubisoft fort event but we do know what ubisoft seemingly has planned for the series thanks to a report from tom henderson these new games are mostly in development at ubisoft montreal the studio of course responsible for most of the far cry games only recently far cry 6 was led by ubisoft toronto who is now also joining to help on the two upcoming projects. Yes, two, with one of them being Project Maverick, which being set in an Alaskan wilderness and is currently an extraction-based shooter with mechanics such as permadeath, a backpack system, contracts and more. Yes, Ubisoft is going to try a game like that, not really for me, and I would be let down if that was the only Far Cry title they got coming, but no, they also got a regular Far Cry 7 in the works, Project Blackbird, which is described as a single player experience. Now I don't think this immediately means that they are completely removing the cope, it's of course still a rumor, but I would be down for a really focused solo experience, as Far Cry 6 had too much of a focus on the two player aspect with the post launch activities that were mostly impossible to solo. What's interesting is that the titles were intended to be one game at one point, but separated to become two separate projects early on in development which I think is a great choice. Let me know if you agree. And this is people speculate that that single player Far Cry 7 game might also be set in Alaska because then they can of course use similar assets. Of course, these are just rumors. I will keep you posted when we know more. I just have to see it in order to really get a feel for it. But it will be a while as these projects are scheduled for fall 2025. Something that should drop before that is a new PlayStation handheld. Now don't get too excited as Insider Gaming reports that the Q Lite is not a cloud streaming device, but instead uses remote play with the PlayStation 5, streaming up to 1080p and 60fps, which means that it will also require a constant connectivity to the internet. This is what it should look like, also made by Insider Gaming, so a PS5 controller with an 8 inch LCD touchscreen in the center, and it should have the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback we expect from the DualSense as well. Maybe you know of my infamous Instagram post from my holiday two years ago where I next to a pool in a beautiful Italy was playing a PS5 game via remote play. Dude, why are you playing games next to a pool on your vacation? Got a ton of comments like that. I just used it for like an hour to prove that it works. Either way, the idea behind this post was to show you how cool this technology is because it really worked on the crappy hotel Wi-Fi without any lag and it of course has only improved ever since. So I'm actually down for a device like this. Like I don't have an iPhone so I cannot use the backbone and even that doesn't have the PS5 controller features. Now I totally think that I'm in the minority. The audience for this is likely really small because it will probably be around the 200 bucks around the same price as the DualSense Edge. That's my prediction. And that just for remote play is of course a lot. Of course, a Steam Deck-like thing that can play PS5 games natively would be amazing, but that seems impossible, and if they were going to do it, very pricey. So I'm happy they at least try something. So this device is in its QA phase and scheduled to release before the PlayStation 5 Pro, which is slated for the end of 2024, and after the detachable disk drive PS5, and that is rumored to launch in September of this year. So probably end of this year early next year for this remote play device 
Let me know if you would be interested in anything like this. Now moving on to some quick shots, noteworthy news stories that I want to go over quickly. And of course, if you like the Your Game Show so far, then leaving a like on it would really be appreciated. And subscribe because I post a news roundup video like this every Sunday. A leaker I discussed here before on the channel is called Script. They shared some Avatar from Tears of Pandora screenshots. And now we also got some info saying that the game will center around a Navi child who was abducted by the RDA and trained to serve them in their conquest of Pandora. So maybe at the start of the game, we then break free from the RDA and become part of the Navi and are out for revenge. I think it's a cool twist and make sure that exploring the world will feel both new for the character we play and for us as the player. There should be a lot of customization as well with crafting new gear, upgrading skills and weapons to fit our playstyle. With bows of course being part of the game, spear throwers, but also guns like assault rifles and shotguns. We already knew the game would have a big post launch but script now notes that there will be a season pass, a welcome pass, whatever that is, and a currency packs. So as I said before, it's a Ubisoft game, expect the microtransactions but if that means that we get free content as well with many reasons to return to the game often then I don't mind that that much. Another game that will of course have a huge post launch is Diablo 4. I played the beta, I liked it a lot, it's really that perfect podcast game, just have something on in the background while playing and I kind of miss that at the moment so I can't wait for launch and we now learned that the deluxe and ultimate edition pre-orders have early access. They can start on Thursday June 1st in the US or June 2nd at midnight in Europe which almost a week before the official launch on June 6th which is kind of huge and big for a multiplayer game like this. Although on the flip side if you don't want to pay for more expensive edition and then it of course kind of sucks because many people will be max level when you start. On the other hand there will be way more videos here on the channel when you then eventually start so that's the upside you immediately have your tips and tricks now not a lot of quick shots this week maybe the only other like interesting news story that i wanted to quickly touch on was a new patent from sony that shows a controller that can change temperature so another new immersive feature where if something is hot in the game your controller will get hotter and the other way around when you for example walk through the snow is maybe something we see in the future, although not confirmed. Before I touch on one of your questions, you can leave in the comments under this video that I then might answer next week. I first want to touch on my favorite thing of the week, the highlight all right. And this week, that was totally the Spider-Verse trailer by a long shot. Now, I don't think I can show you a lot because Sony might claim it. The movie is out on June 2nd. I can't wait for it. But this whole trailer did make me think of a potential multiplayer Spider-Man game from Insomniac. I think it could be really cool to make our own version of Spider-Man or choose one of the many that were already created and then team up with other players that also play as a different type of Spidey. Of course, next to the single player projects that they will probably make for a very long time. Like I don't want that to go away, but I still think a separate multiplayer thing could be cool. And it's not crazy to think about that because they have been working on a multiplayer project for almost two years now. This was namely two years ago. They have five new job openings for a multiplayer project. So Insomniac is at least working on something multiplayer, although we don't know what it is. I think this like spider first game could be cool, but saw some mixed reactions on Twitter. Let me know your take in the comments. And Sean left a question under my previous Sunday video saying that apart from Spider-Man 2, what is your second most anticipated game? Which a good one, like Spidey is totally high on that list. Things like Assassin's Creed Red as well. More imminent titles like Jedi Survivor. Can't wait for that. But if I have to like think of one thing that I'm just super curious about. It's that Horizon multiplayer game. There was an artwork leak. You can search it on Google. I'm not gonna show it here. But uh, I just think that the Horizon gameplay but with your friends could be really cool. So... I hope we see that soon. I totally think at a place in showcase. When we know more about that, I'll of course let you know. But that would be my most anticipated game. Also because I just have a ton of question marks. I'm really curious how they will like pull that off. Of course, at the end of these videos, we look at the big week that is incoming. And we actually got some fun stuff. Maybe you already saw this tweet from uh, Immortals. It's a new game. Maybe we have something about that on the channel. Um, Dead Island 2, I played it, so I want to talk about that. We got more Jedi Survivor stuff coming your way. Horizon, probably something about that as well as we get closer to the DLC launch. So some really fun things. Subscribe for that. A like on the video would really help me out. And if you haven't watched that Jedi Survivor video yet, you can watch it by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.